What's going on everybody? Welcome to episode number two of Top 5 Friday. Now, some of you may or may not know, but I'm somewhat of a closeted gamer. There's a few games that I have to play every time they come out, like if there's a sequel, I get it, or I've gotten it. Some games I don't make anymore. One of those games that I've always had to play has been Grand Theft Auto. Now, I've played, I think, every single game except maybe the first two or three. No, I played the third one. I have the third one. But I play. I haven't played the first or second, I don't think. Um, or some of the uh, console, uh, the PSP games that they've made. But I've played it whether it was being my brother had it or a friend had it. You know, I've always played it, or if I owned it myself, I've always played Grand Theft Auto. Just one game that I've had to always, always play. Grand Theft Auto 4 and 5 blew my mind. The expansion packs, the cars, everything. Just, it was awesome. Liberty City and San Andreas, it was awesome. This week, I'm going to tell you what I want to see in Grand Theft Auto 6. Now, they haven't confirmed it yet. They haven't denied it. Uh, Rockstar Games, that is. So, hopefully it comes out. Like I said, it's neither confirmed or denied. But these are my top five things I want to see in Grand Theft Auto 6. Let's go. Number five, a different era. Now, we've played in the 90s, the 80s, the 70s, I think Vice City was in. Um, I don't remember exactly. But we've played in, like I said, the, ninth, the, the 80s, 90s, present day with four and five. I think we take it back to the 20s. That's my. That's what I would want to see. Is 1920 for a video game. Uh, you know, prohibition, organized crime, was a big part of the 20s, and I just think that would be really awesome to see a video game in the 1920s. You know, and a, an idea that I kind of was, you know, toying with or flirting with in my head, was what if you had, if if it's possible. I don't know if it's possible or not, but what if you were able to play f or work for in the game. Al Capone. Now I know it would probably be a lot of legal trouble or something to get to use the name Al Capone, but have somebody like Al Capone. I just think that would be really cool. Have something where you recreate um, the St. Valentine's Day Massacre, uh, one of the most popular crimes in Chicago. You know, prohibition. Have a couple missions where you're, you know, getting alcohol across state lines. Bathtub vodka. I think that's what it was. And the fashion, that would be really cool to see like the hats and stuff and all the fashion. I just think it would be really cool to do a game that, or do it in the 1920s. Yes, it would be a lot like L.A. Noir, but L.A. Noir was a great game in my opinion. And I would just think that Grand Theft Auto would take it to the next level, you know, with something like that. Number four, time warping online. By that, I mean if you're playing in the 1920s, when you go online, you go through, like, even have it to where... I'm kind of, like, picturing it on my TV, which is behind you guys, behind the camera. I'm kind of picturing it to where it would be, like, some kind of weird time warp uh, screen where you're flash where you see flashes of the decades that you're going past, like the 30s, the 40s, the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, to now. And then you end up in the same spot that you, that you were on GTA or that you were on the story mission, but your present day. Now, I know that would probably be a lot of work and a lot of texturing or however video games are made. I'm not really sh sure how video games are made. But it would be a lot of, uh, you know, because you'd have to update it. Because obviously, you know, where I'm sitting now didn't look like what it does now in the 20s. So you'd have to do a lot of, you know, it'd be a lot of work, I think. But I think Rockstar Games could pull it off, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, it'd be cool to see. It be it would be really cool to see time warping online. Number three, more of a free mode. Now by that, I thought that GTA four and five had a lack of of roaming for a free roam game. I guess you know you can't. You can really only go into certain places like clothing stores, gas stations, stuff like that. You know, and especially with last the last game five. I think you should have been able to break into people's houses, not just the ones where the story missions. It's like, I'll make every house accessible, but every few houses to where, you know, you break in and you steal some money or some jewelry and you can go pawn it off or something like that. I think that would be really cool uh, to do 
in the free mode, you know, have a lot more shops open to go through, like jewelry stores and um, like in GTA 5, there's a hardware store when you're driving from Blaine County, I believe it is, uh, you know, and you can't even go in there. Like, it would be really cool to be able to go in there and make that where you buy, like, certain things, like weapons. You could buy rope or a gas can or, you know, stuff to make a weapon. That would be, that would, that's going to be an honorable mention right there, make a weapon. Um, something like that. You know, knives. And there's so much you could buy in a hardware store to murder people, which is what you do in Grand Theft Auto, essentially. Just, yeah, a lot more stuff to do in the free roam. Because, you know, sometimes you do wait, you know, a considerable amount of time while waiting for another mission. So often, you know, at least that's what I found. Especially do that in the free mode, or the uh, online mode as well. Number two, a custom character. Now, you have this, you have the custom character in online mode. Why not bring that to the, the story mode? And what I'm thinking is, you know, you create a character, make it look like yourself or your mom or your, something, I don't know what you want to make it look like. Electro. I'm staring at Electro right now. Um, Electro, um, Spider-Man, something like that. And have it, you know, I know that they, they can do this in WWE games, so why can't they do it in a this kind of game where you have, like, choose from four or five voices, make your character how you want it to look, and then... The only thing that would be hard would be the name, but again, in WWE, they have like, I think, four pages or 12 pages of names that you can pick from, and, you know, just insert it in, and I think that would be really cool to see. You know, have like, you know, like back to the Al Capone thing, have Al Capone be like, yo, Lucas, we need you to do this or that or something like that, and I think that would be really cool to see. I think that would be really cool to see, and like, when you start, you get to pick one car at your, like, price range, you get to pick an out like an outfit or two at your price range, stuff like that. I just think that'd be really cool. Number one. A new setting. We've been to the counterparts of New York, Florida, California. We need to go somewhere else. You've you've gone to the major cities. New York City, Los Angeles, Miami. There's one more that you need to do. Rockstar games. And I'm talking about Chicago, as Patrick Kane would say. Chicago, Illinois. You know, I guess you wouldn't call it Chicago, but you could call it something else, like Gotham City or something. I don't know. Whatever you want to call it, Rockstar. It would be really cool to see Chicago as a, as a setting, especially if you're going to do a 1920s type game. Organized crime was at its height in Chicago, I think. You know, Chicago, L.A., you know. Heck, if you want, you can be able to cross different places. I think that would be even better. Um, or go to different places like Liberty City to such, like like Liberty City to, to Los Santos or something like that. But like I said, Chicago. I, it may be because I'm, I'm partial to Chicago because I'm from near there, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, that's what I want to see. Chicago as a setting. With that said, Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And like I said, like, comment, and subscribe on this video or my channel. Subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys next time.